Welcome, my name is Steve Hefferon. I'm the co-founder of the Healthy Back Institute, and today I'm gonna to demonstrate a very simple strategy for releasing trigger points in the neck. Today we're gonna to be using a device that is a self-treatment system. It actually is a board that uses pegs. You can see that these pegs are at a specific angle that when they go in the position of the neck, they also give upward pressure into the trigger point, but also give a little bit of distraction or what's called an occipital release. Now what's important about why trigger points need to be addressed is that trigger points make muscles tight, weak, and dysfunctional. And when muscles are tight, weak, and dysfunctional, they become out of balance. And when our muscles get out of balance, they create postural dysfunctions or abnormal position of the head and shoulders. And when we have that, it's really the root cause for why conditions like herniated discs, spinal stenosis become symptomatic. So addressing trigger point is extremely important. So let me demonstrate. I'm doing this on a massage bed, but it can easily be done on the floor. So once in the position, you can see that my head is resting on the two trigger point points. Now, the duration is really to tolerance, but it's, it is suggested that you stay on it at least 90 seconds. And somewhere about 30 seconds, you can just start to do a little bit of motion, maybe a little bit of chin tuck, flexion, extension, to try and get the individual muscle fibers to be separated. One of the other things that you might feel is while it doesn't hurt, you, you get different sensations. Um, pressure, tingling, maybe a little bit of numbness around the 90 second mark. Now, the most important part after doing the trigger point um, time is to actually go right into a stretch. So what I recommend is going into flexion, extension, side bending and rotation. Let me demonstrate. I hope you found this video helpful and for more like it, please visit us at losethebackpain.com.